You want to put some tape over those? Uh, Ryan Harris, uh, Snow West Magazine. This is the Snow West Show. We're at, uh, we're at Dave McClure's shop uh, out here in Idaho, and it is a, it is a balmy zero degrees. Uh, and that's inside. I think it's, out, it's warmer outside because Dave's too cheap to run his heater. So, you know it. You know it. Uh, we're up here. We're, we wanted to come check out. This is his, uh, this is his 22 uh, 146 build. It's an M8000, but it's it's a 900 mm -hmm. SSI 900, yep. and lightweight parts galore, and and still still more stuff to go on because that's how we roll over here. But um, it, it's almost done, and it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty incredible build. We'll we'll try to get out and ride with you, hopefully, yeah, and, yeah. and check it out. But um, why don't you walk us through it and just show us what you've done and and tell the story of why why you went to a 146, why you went to a 900, like okay. why you wind up here? Yeah. Um, Part of it was Arctic Cat with COVID and everything. There wasn't a huge selection uh, for us of sleds to, to buy or to get. And uh, um, I, I rode the 146 last year at the photo shoot and I was like, man, that's a pretty fun sled. And uh, typically I, I was not, you know, 154 was as short as I would go. But I, uh, I, you know, it was offered to me and I was like, you know what? I think I could build a super cool lightweight 900 146 and that would be a just a fun sled and you know Riley Kincaid he's he's been riding his 146 all year uh, out with me with my 154 turbo and that 146 even in the early season where the deep, snow's deep uh, it's been keeping up and doing fine um, and surprisingly well for for as short of a track as they are so um, yeah I, I decided why not build a 900 you know the other oems they've got 850s and what would happen if we put a little more power in one of these arctic cat chassis and and uh you know it's like most everyone i rides riding a polaris or a skidoo and and uh, i wanted to kind of even the uh, the playing field a little bit so like starting here on the front um super excited about the lightweight fox coil over shock um we've been Oh, like years, Fox offered these lightweight coilovers, but they didn't offer them to Arctic Cats. And Brock over at Ice Age, he finally uh, kind of made it happen with Fox. And uh, so we've got the lightweight coilover shock paired with the Ice Age Elevate kit, um, makes the sled, lifts the sled up out of the snow, um, just makes the, the overall ride of the snowmobile awesome with, with this front end package. Another thing, as we're as we're working our way back, um, we've got this BDX lightweight hood, and uh, man, when I opened that thing up, I was just blown away at how many vents and 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 the time and effort they've put into these these hoods. Uh, we took it and we paired it with a Mountain Fit headlight delete uh, to you know, so I'm losing all the weight of the headlight. I, I run a Franken sled light on my helmet. So when it's late in the, in the night, I, I still got a headlight, um, but I'm not packing around that extra weight all day, every day. Uh, this is a Skins uh, front bumper. Uh, another new sponsor, you know, we talked about it on the, on the last video where, you know, we're, we're just changing things up with sponsors because, uh, you know, just to, to freshen things up and get a, a new look and new feel of the sleds. So, um, here we'll talk about the 900 Big Bore. Um, SSI uh, has a titanium lightweight can. That, that can weighs next to nothing. Um, and uh, yeah, just a, a super reliable 900 Big Bore. This is the lightweight uh, skin seat. For years I've been seeing that, that Skins makes this lightweight uh, tank and seat combination for the, for the uh, Pro Climbs and, and the Sender chassis. And uh, it, I think Jason weighed it the other day and I think we lose like 22 pounds um, with the seat and tank uh, set up. So, and then plus it's only eight gallons, whereas, uh, you know, the stock cat tank is like 10 and a half gallons. So, so far it, I've been running this even on my turbo sled and uh, I haven't ran out of gas yet. So, uh, but we're packing around, you know, 16 pounds less of, of fuel every day. <laughs> I, there's, doesn't seem like there's enough hours in the day. I still have, don't have my skins running boards on. Uh, the other night I was putting them on till two in the morning on my uh, on my turbo sled so that'll that'll come um, skins rear bumper 
uh, and you know, again, this is a 146. It's a it's a different track. It's the two six um, track, uh, and it's a narrower pitch. Uh, this is track is what the hill climbers are running. Uh, but we found with these added fingers, um, it is like a really fun spring snow uh, track. But you know, like I say, Riley's been riding it. You know, November, December, January, and in the in the deep snow, and it's been fine. You know just as is so lightweight coil over shocks i'll put those in as well um, on the rear we can talk about the new clutch this was something new for 22 for arctic cat is the new adapt clutch it's uh the overall size is smaller uh it's lighter weight it's a it's an all new uh engineered clutch that that one of the guys at arctic cat developed i've got a, a lightweight um brake lever and a uh, brake disc from BDX and the steering bushings you know the Arctic Cats the steering bushings that sometimes get a little slop in them uh, BDX makes a really nice uh, bushing kit uh, that shores all that steering up too oh we didn't we had, oh. my favorite part my favorite part is these these skis from the early 2000s so I've never, what are these? I've, is this a museum up here? <laughs> these are, I, I love these powder pro skis. On my turbo, I have Mohawks and I like the Mohawks, they work good, but I like an aggressive ski and the powder pros, they're aggressive. There's one like ride a year where these powder pros are maybe a little bit too aggressive, but other than that, I, these, these are my skis that I, the, my, my go-to ski. Yeah, I, I remember running these on the you know the M7s back in 03, 05, 06, 03, yeah, yeah. yeah.